so once you've completed your two panels, this is the assembly process. We're going to put them together. You're going to need more fishing line or elastic or whatever you're using. I would recommend fishing line. And so now we have to look at the panels and how they're done. Like the these are sticking out. And this one is an inside on the end of it. So you need to look at your other panel and this one is an inside one where it's staggered down and this one's staggered out. Which means that they'll fit together like this. So if you match them up, they should just go right into place like that. So I'm flipping it over because it's easier to work with this way. And we're going to have to weave in and out of these and pull them tight so they stay together so we create a seal on it. I'm going to do this with the first bead. Is I'm going to go around the first two a couple times to get it started. Okay, now we're going to go through the bead that's sticking up the top panel and then down through the one on the bottom so when you pull that tight it's going to pull them together so we're back through the bead sticking up at the top then we weave down to the bottom pull those together tight and it's going to start if you guys have ever made um, an even payout stitch cuff this is the same way that you're going to seal it up on the end and you do that for your purse I guess if you really wanted to you could make uh, one big long panel and then just seal up two sides of it but I wouldn't recommend doing that because it just would be kind of a pain to do I would imagine this way it's a little bit easier to design each panel individually and then put it together So you just do this until you're completely done. At the end, once you've gotten it all the way through, what might help is if you lay it down and push the beads in, because some of them are going to be sticking up, and just pull on both ends of the string to make sure that it's all flat and then pull it back and then we're going to tie knots on the side like we did before for all our other things um, I'm only doing this once over it because I'm not too terribly concerned about it breaking I'm not putting anything um, very heavy in this bag I don't plan to uh, if you were making like a messenger bag or something that you wanted to carry textbooks in, you would need to definitely um, double up or like triple, triple or quadruple up uh, the amount of string that you would need. And you'd probably do it throughout the entire bag, which will make it a little bit stronger. Um, but I really wouldn't recommend making a bag to carry out heavy things. Just use a backpack for that. Um, but just as like a little purse or something, this is fine. So I'm only doing it one time, I'm not going to worry too much about it. If you get a bead crooked like this, it's easier to just go around and wrap around it. 
a couple times and then it should go back into place. After you do that, that happens sometimes. No more problem on that bead. Then you cut off the end. And you tie the other side. So the next part in the tutorial is to sew up the side seams. And the way that we're going to do this is almost like a um, ladder stitch in the way that you go through both sides of the bead back and forth and that's going to give you this seamless um, look to it. The only issue is that the bottom of it is a little bit harder to do. If you have elastic it'll probably go over fishing line. If you've tied them tight sometimes they won't go completely over but for the most part it works pretty well and it looks nice and nothing's going to fall out of that unless you have like itty bitty things but for the most part things should just stay inside your bag. So it's not something to worry about. So. Um, the reason I'm filming this way is because it's easier to show you guys how to do it this way. And also, if you're making it, it's easier to put it into your lap and work with it. So you just need a normal length of fishing line. Nothing too terribly long or anything. But we're going to start at the top. Here. And we're taking our string and going through the bottom of each of the top beads. So one through that end and another one through this end. Pull it up so it's even on both sides. And there's you could either cross them over at the same time if you like doing that or if you get confused then you can work with one string at a time. For the sake of you guys being able to see it easier, I'm going to work with one string at a time. So, I just strung this string through this green bead, taking the opposite string and going back through the other bead. Okay. Then when you pull it, you're going to get an effect like this, but you might have to go down a couple more beads to get it to actually tighten up. So now we're going in through the second bead right below it on that last column, so this bead. And this is the same string, it's on the same side, it's not an opposite string at all. And you take the other string and go in through the second bead on the other side, right here. So you pull that tight. Then you take your first string, put it through that second bead, and then you take the other string. go into the opposite yellow bead mm -hmm. so when you pull it tight and again you, you start to get that seamless look the more that you do it and the more that you mess with it the better the outcome will be in the end So 
what I'm going to start doing, if, if you get confused easy then you don't have to do this, you can do it the same way that I've been doing, where you put both strings in the end first and then cross them between, what I'm going to do is go into the third bead and then straight into the opposite end so I don't have to cross over again, I've already done my crossover and just doing both steps at once is easier for me to follow um, as you make more purses or the more that you go along maybe it'll be easier for you to do that as well so I'm just not doing anything different, I'm just doing the two steps at once and then take it, pull it and tightens again and continue all the way down and when you get to the bottom where it's a little bit more difficult I'll talk to you guys through that too and I will see you then okay so when you get to the end and it's kind of difficult to have them fold in what I do is all string through both sides and then to get them to fold a little bit easier I'll take the string and pull it on both sides and then run my finger down it and sometimes if you go from the underside it'll get them to face each other a little bit more and the more tension that you put on it and the more that you pull on it the easier the beads are going to fall into place So can you pull it tight and then rub your finger down it and then they'll start to face each other. It seems like the last five beads just don't go that well to face each other but the rest of them should be okay. Maybe it's the last like three or so. But what I've been doing to tie this off is I will take my knots and make sure that it is above this last bead right here so you tie your knots two or three times but it's on top of your last and final bead because we're going to be hiding our string through that bead And then you take your two ends and we're going through that bead then pulling the knot through then I'm flipping my bag over and we're gonna go like we did for the skeleton in the very beginning go through two beads, then one bead, then two beads, one bead, and however many you want till you feel that your string is secure and then you can cut your string. Once you've gotten it where you feel it's right, you just cut it off. And then you might want to push your beads around to make sure that the side's done right and this side is nice and you've got your bag now the only thing that's left to do is to if you want to do a flat you can do a flat or we can um how I'm going to do mine because I don't want to do a flat I'm going to take some string through here and tie it around and so have it like where it's a little loop that goes around the button. I'm going to show you guys how to attach a button in the next video as well as to attach your uh, strap. And there's many different ways that you can do a strap. So I'll talk about 
the ways that you can do straps as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.